Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my videos. On the previous videos we talked a little bit about perspective and this video we're going to talk about wheels and perspective and how it works and how to space them correctly which is really important so you get the correct wheelbase on your car. So every week I post new videos about how to do car design, product design, any kind of design, and I do this for free because I love what I do. So I suggest you subscribe, click that bell so you get a notification when I do a new video, and this is gonna help you so much to get to that design school that you wanted to go, or you do this as a hobby, or if you're just a professional that wanna improve on your skills. So subscribe, and I'll see you guys every week. Also, you know, when you do a car drawing, I've taught you how the wheels become ellipses and then the farther back you go, they get narrower and narrower because of the angle that you're looking at it. But also, it's also important to understand that also the height of the wheel is gonna change. As things go into perspective, you remember there's that vanishing point, so things are gonna start getting smaller and smaller and smaller the farther back they go. And I'm gonna teach you this with a picture really quick. You'll understand that if I put the front wheel and the back wheel side by side and they're the same size wheels, check it out and see how off it looks, how big the front wheel is compared to the small wheel. And it's not that they're different sizes, it's just perspective at play. So I have done a video about how to put the side view of your car and how you put like three wheels in between to get the spacing correct on your car. When you turn that into perspective, how do you know the three wheels going back in perspective? Because as we know, and as we've seen on previous videos, the gaps between things in perspective get smaller and smaller. I'm gonna teach you why the gap gets smaller, how to control that, and how to get that correctly in perspective. So I'm gonna teach you the technical side, but also, once you get the hang of it, you don't have to do the whole technical side of it, you can just sketch it, but it's good to know it and understand what you're doing. So, let's check it out.
I hope this video helped you understand a lot more about wheels and how they work, how to control them in your sketches, and I'll see you guys next week. Thank you for watching. Thank you.